Okay, here we have a human skull. As you can see, you can see the external features of the human on this side. And then we have a nice cross section on this side showing the skull um, on the inside of that face. Now, you've got a few features here that I want to draw your attention to. One is, uh, not our canines are not very big. Um, we don't have a brow ridge. Um, there's no sagittal crest. Uh, we have attachments to our masseter um, muscles along the temples here. And if you actually put your fingers on your temples and chomp up and down, you can feel those muscles constricting or tensing and relaxing. They feed through here, the zygomatic arch, and they come down and they power our jaw muscle. But if we move over here to the chimpanzee, you'll see that his masseter muscle is much larger and his, his jaw is more protruding, his nose is protruding, he's got um, a massive, quite a large brow ridge, no forehead like the human. So uh, that forehead has disappeared on the chimpanzee. Keeping in mind that we uh, evolutionarily diverged from chimpanzees about five to eight million years ago. Um, but if you have a look at that zygomatic march, quite large, and that's okay. the, the brain casing right there. Now, if you look over here, you've got the gorilla. And what you've got on the gorilla is a protruding jawbone, um, massive canine teeth. Look at that brow ridge, really, really pronounced brow ridge. And have a look at this zygomatic arch. You've got a sagittal crest where you've got a muscle coming down, running through that sagittal crest, powering that massive bite on the gorilla. And also what you've got is a muscle here at the back of the skull, which is attaching down the spine, which is, uh, which is why sort of uh, <laughs> gorillas look like uh, they've got wrestlers necks because they've got so much muscle coming off that head case. Uh, it's quite an impressive bone. And as you can see, that's what the cross section looks like from the front. So all those muscles attaching to that skull constrict the amount of area that the brain can uh, occupy within that skull. And we still have so much to, more to learn about the in, inner workings of that brain um, because it's not all about volume. It's also about uh, connectivity and several other features, possibly modularity as well. But to understand um, the evolution of, of humans, chimpanzees and gorillas, we have to look at these structural features from the outside and from the inside as well.